in a dirty living room shows Phil Hartman and Gilda Radner as polar bears slouching on a couch watching TV. There's a knock on the door. Shows Gilbert Gottfried as a parrot in the corner who yells, Knock, knock! Knock, knock! Radner, there's someone at the door! Hartman, who cares? Hartman rolls a joint, takes a hit, and passes it to Radner. The door knocks again. Godfrey, knock, knock! Knock, knock! Hartman, whoever you are, go away. We're endangered and we don't care about anything. We're the apathetic, don't care polar bears. Godfrey, the apathetic, don't care polar bears! On the other side of the door, Jan Hook says, We have some news that even you're going to care about. Radner rolls her eyes, gives the joint back to Hartman, and slowly gets up, walks to the door and opens it. Chris Farley and Jan Hooks in animal control uniforms enter the room. Radner, animal control? Are you joking? Godfrey, are you joking? Hartman, as if we need to be controlled. I'd be insulted if I cared. Godfrey, if I cared. Farley, doesn't that parrot annoy you? Godfrey, doesn't that parrot annoy you? Radner, we don't care. Godfrey, we don't care. Hartman gets up and rolls Godfrey's birdcage out of the room. Hartman, so why are you here? Because we have an annoying parrot? Hooks, no, the reason is just, uh... It's just so crazy to explain. Farley, they're not going to believe it. Radner, well then you just cannot tell us, I guess. Hartman, we don't care. Hooks looks at Farley, who nods and says, I'll handle it. Farley looks at Hartman and Radner and says, Mr. and Mrs. Polar Bear, we have reason to believe that you're not actually living polar bears but are instead the ghosts of polar bears who have previously died and only think you're alive. Radner, huh? Hooks, did you ever see the sixth sense? Kind of like that. Hartman, uh, whatever. Radner, yeah, cool. Thanks for telling us. I guess now you'll be leaving? Farley, not so fast. We're here to save that parrot. He can't be taken care of by a couple of ghost polar bears. And you were pretty rough with them when you rolled them out of the room. Hartman. Okay, whatever, take them. We don't care. Radner. Eh, good riddance. Hooks. Really? You're not going to put up a fight or anything? Hartman. We don't care. Dead or alive, we are resigned to our endangered plight. Nothing at all matters. We're just a couple of white bears living on a pile of rock that spins around a star, man. Hartman smokes the joint and hands it to Radner. Radner. And even if we're dead, what does that matter? Nothing seems different. We do the same things anyway, so who cares? Farley. Oh, come on. Aren't you going to put up some sort of resistance or something? Or have an epiphany from the stark realization that you're already dead? Hartman, nah. Hartman and Radner sit back on the couch and finish off the joint. Farley sighs and says, ah, Now, fellas, you hear something strange, and it don't sound good. Who are you going to call? Cool Busters! John Belushi, Harold Ramis, Peter Aykroyd, and Richard Pryor run into the home in brown jumpsuits. Belushi, boy, Slimer, are these the dead squatters? Farley, yeah, but they don't even care. They don't care about the parrot. They don't even care that they're dead and didn't even know it. Ramus, the don't care bears, huh? Any last words? Hartman and Radner look at each other, shrug, look over at the ghoul busters and say, nah. Ackroyd, well, geez, this is pretty anticlimactic. Whatever. The four ghoul busters take out their neutron pack weapons. 
which capture Hartman and Radner and send them through the weapons into the four's backpacks. Prior. Okay, I'll go get the cat. Cuts to the ghoul busters, along with hooks, drinking beer and throwing dollar bills at a shirtless Farley, who's dancing on a table to hip-hop music. Shows Godfrey back in the corner, who says, Get from the yards! We're not alive! It's Saturday Not Alive! Starring John Belushi, Chris Farley, Phil Hartman, Jan Hooks, Norm McDonald, Gilda Radner, Denitra Vance, and with many other special deceased contributors, musical guest and host, Tim McCarver. Everybody, Tim McCarver. Applause, applause, applause. McCarver. Thank you, thank you. I had a wonderful life as a Hall of Fame professional baseball player and later as a baseball color commentator. I was a two-time All-Star and two-time World Series champion and later a three-time Emmy Award winner as a color commentator, getting to cover 23 World Series and 20 All-Star games. Applause, applause, applause. McCarver. You might be surprised I'm the musical guest as well. But in 2009, I released a cover album of jazz standards entitled Tim McCarver Sings Songs from the Great American Songbook. Shows John Belushi in the audience who stands up and says, What? No way. You're the baseball guy from Fox. No way you can play music. McCarver. Well, the producer can't play music, but use your imagination. McCarver sits down at a piano and sings, and there used to be a ballpark where the field was warm and green and the people played their crazy game with a joy I'd never seen. And the air was such a wonder from the hot dogs and the beer. Yes, there used to be a ballpark Right here. Applause, applause, applause. McCarver. Folks, we have a great show tonight. I'm here without a play-by-play guy, but I'll see if I can manage. We'll be right back. 